Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump quietly made incredible move for military vets. Media felt different about it. President Trump has done many things that he has not spoken of to help other people, and he has a special place in his heart for the military. He supports them and helps them at every possible opportunity. Most of it has gone unnoticed because the media is not interested in covering anything positive about President Trump. The news should cover the truth, the good and the bad of it on all sides. There are many quiet heroes out there and President Trump is one of them. Without fanfare, President Trump donated his salary for the first quarter of this year to the Department of Veterans Affairs. Funny how you didn't hear about that in the media isn't it? Trump isn't taking a dime, instead, he's devoted himself to cleaning out the swamp and actually helping right our nation. A big part of that is remembering the boys and girls who serve this great nation and President Trump is there all the way for the military. Past, present and future President Trump committed to donating his $400,000 annual salary to worthy causes. He's previously given donations to the Department of Transportation, the National Park Service, the Department of Education and the Department of Health and Human Services. And there's barely a blip in the media about it. It's just not salacious enough for them. So they twist the truth and outright lie to make up bogus headlines. The media don't think this is a big story or an important move for military vets. A reminder to the media. The truth can be a much bigger story than any ginned up tabloid trash you can manufacture. You might want to revisit Journalism 101 on that point. On May 17, 2018, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders announced that the first beneficiary of the president's salary donation for this year would be the Department of Veterans Affairs. Today the president is proud to donate his 2018 first quarter salary to the Department of Veterans Affairs to support their caregiver programs, she said before handing a check to Acting Secretary of the VA Robert Wilkie. Wilkie accepted the donation on behalf of the department and thanked the president for his generosity. The president's gift underscores his promise to do all that he can for veterans, which includes supporting those who care for our veterans, not just those of us at VA, but the husbands, the wives, the families, and the community caregivers who are out there day in and day out making life easier for those who have borne the battle. President Trump understands the critical role of caregivers in meeting the essential needs of America's veterans, so we have already earmarked this gift for caregiver support in the form of mental health and peer support programs, financial aid, education training, and research. The left just can't believe that Trump is donating his salary this way. In fact, one of the most popular searches on the topic of this on Google is to find out if he really did so. Yes, he did and it says an awful lot about Trump, giving this way. The media doesn't seem to be anywhere around when President Trump visits the families of our fallen warriors or when he comforts the son or daughter of a soldier taken too soon from this world. Trump has remembered the military, the police and others who have served constantly during his time in office. Obama, not nearly as much, and when he did so, it was politicized and publicized. Acting VA Secretary Robert Wilkie said at a press briefing that the money President Trump donated would go toward caregiver support programs, including mental health, peer support research, education, training and financial aid. President Trump understands the critical role of caregivers in meeting the essential needs of America's veterans, he said. The donation is the fifth made by Trump since he became president. Previously, he turned over his federal salary to the Department of Transportation for Infrastructure Repair, the National Park Service for Battlefield Preservation, the Department of Education for Support Programs and the Department of Health and Human Services for Opioid Management Programs. Wilkie highlighted the passage in the House of a bill that would allow more private health care alternatives in the Veterans' Choice Program. Something that is badly needed. This is long-awaited legislation that our veterans have been waiting in anticipation of, Wilkie said. Trump has repeatedly urged support for the bill. Congrats to the House for passing the VA Mission Act yesterday, he tweeted. Without this funding our veterans will be forced to stand in never-ending lines in order to receive care. Putting politics over our veterans' care is unacceptable. President Trump signed the VA Mission Act into law on June 6, 2018. You didn't hear about that in the media either. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said the president's donation is in keeping with a pair of campaign promises by Trump, to give his federal salary to important projects within the government and to help highlight and improve care for veterans. These brave men and women deserve our absolute best, which is why the president is fighting for reform and accountability at the VA, she said. Trump's donation is a true act of charity and selfless giving that he has sought no publicity or credit for. Therefore the media has ignored it. But it is the quiet actions of unsung heroes such as President Trump that speak volumes.
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.